Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. Today I'm sharing a pocket letter DIY. I mean, this is the first pocket letter that I'm doing a swap with for um, Crafty Crafts by Dina on Facebook and YouTube. The swap is on Facebook, but um, I'm sharing my video, my process here on YouTube. So the beginning of this video, um, I did a time lapse because I really didn't know how I was going to go about doing this. So I figured I'd just share with you what I did. And um, at the end of the time lapse, I will talk about the products that I've used and um, where I got everything. So just relax, enjoy the video, and stay tuned. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. So I have a pocket letter to share with you all that I created for a swap. <clears throat> I have a swap partner and she loves pink and purple and flowers and butterflies. So this is what I created and I used several paper collections and some stuff I got from a D stash so I don't know what the what exactly the the collection is that I'm using but I can tell you what I do know <laughs> pink and purple is what she loves so I use two different paper pads this is one collection from the Michaels um, got the uh, magic hour from the Michaels hot buy and I've just used one sheet from that and it was the purple with the butterflies all on it. And I also used one of the, let me find it, let me find it. Here it is. So I used 
this paper from uh, Unicorns and Rainbows, and I got this from a D-Stash also. Um, from the same D-Stash that I got from KSP by Louisa. And I also created this pom-pom from the yarn that I hauled, which was this from the same D-Stash. And if you see the previous videos I posted, the what I got from all the D-Stash. And this pom-pom, um, I used this pom-pom maker also from KSP by Louisa in the same D-Stash. Sorry, it's so repetitive, but yeah. So it took me a minute to figure out how to use this particular pom-pom um, maker. I never had one now. This is the first one. So I figured it out. At first I was wrapping them separately like this and then like this, but it was wrong because it doesn't work like that. So put them together and you wrap these two and these two and then you um, put them together tie a yarn around it um, I think you're supposed to cut cut up the middle yeah you're supposed to cut up the middle and then take it off of the little doohickey so anyway I use some washi I think this is from Target dollar spot long time ago um, I didn't punch the holes out but I did punch one which is the top and that's where I tied my little pom-pom so I saw a lot of girls doing their pocket letters and they decorate the paper um, and put the paper into the pocket but I found that when I decorate the little page the little paper insert it bulks up the pocket and then I can't put I can't put a lot of stuff in the pocket behind it because that's the whole point right you're supposed to stuff the pocket so I just decorate it on top and the only one that has um, decoration on the inside are this is this page right here or this insert and those are the thickers from um, I hauled this from Walmart and it's the gold letters and it has a little bit of blue behind the alpha. Okay. So I used that and I put her name on there. And these are just um, ephemera from the D-Stash haul that I got from Louisa. Um, and it had a lot of vellum, which was super cute. So here's one, this is one piece. And here are some butterflies that she likes. And uh, the other thing is, um, I like that what's outside, you can be dimensional with it. So all I use to stick everything down onto the pocket is this um, permanent tape from AdTech, which I got the four pack from Walmart. So that is what I got. I mean, that's what I use to stick everything down, okay? And then what I put inside the pockets were some spritz um what are these chipboard stickers from target and then i made these flowers a little bit back and i um just put them in this pocket and when she gets it she could just you know refluff the, fl the flowers so speaking of flowers the handmade flowers i made two here and it looks kind of weird but when she pulls it out and she pulls it out of the pocket it'll look like this you just have to refluff the petals pull them up just like that and I made a bunch of these so I gave her put two in here because that's all that really could fit without really you know smashing it so these are also the ephemera from Louisa so um, I put some butterflies in here and some flowers also and then this was a part of that ephemera set um, some Paris themed embellishments and then this is just a butterfly also from the same D stash and then another acetate um, like a bird cage and then I added some gold tags to this pocket 
And these little blue hearts are from, also from the D-Stash from Louisa. And then the buttons are, are just from me. I have that in my sewing stash. Okay. And then this little flower right here is a bookmark. It's a page marker, a magnetic bookmark. Okay. So that is everything that I have made for my partner and I just wrapped it up. to do just even out my ends okay okay just take that really simple If you hear any noise, it's my children and my husband are home. I'm watching TV. So, sorry. <clears throat> anyway, so that is my simple pocket letter. And then with that other page that I got from the um, Magic Hour collection, I made the little manila folder, I mean uh, envelope. Okay, and I put a strip down the middle because it was just not um, long enough to wrap, to overlap. So I used the strip down the middle and taped it with the double stick tape. Um, and then I put a bunch of goodies in here and some, some embellishments, extra embellishments for my swap partner. And I don't want to take it out because if she sees it, I don't want to see, I don't want her to see. And I just put her name right down the middle, Amy, and I hand cut that myself. I didn't have any pattern, I just freehand letters. And then I put extra goodies down at the bottom. And then here's just a few um, extra ephemera that I had created for my stash in case I, in case I did a swap. <laughs> so I made these little envelopes. And I put some straws in there and then I use some of the um, Dollar Tree stickers those gold stickers everybody hauled a while ago and I put it on there and I made a little paper bow and I used the Dollar Tree bling to put on my center and I think that looks super cute okay so that is the first envelope the second one is just the same but you know you can modify whatever size you want to make it into but this one I put um, the little Velcro strips. And I also have some goodies in there, some cut apart and some uh, um, rosettes <clears throat> that, I used, that I made with uh, cupcake liners. Okay. And so I'm going to just wrap this up just like I did the other one. And I think I'm going to do it this way. Just like that, it's going to ship perfectly. Oh, and um, I got her um, a pack of the washi, um, the mini washi from Dollar Tree. So I'm going to stick those all in my envelope and get this out to her first thing tomorrow morning. So thank you all for joining me. And if you got like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And I hope you subscribe and join the family because I got lots more to share with you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.